energy that comes from, from High Lifeline is whatever it is that you're experiencing, you are not alone. Other people have experienced this. We're not phased by it and you shouldn't be phased by it either. And also we're gonna go through this with you with joy. Matthew got sick nine years ago. The doctors focus on the illness. High Lifeline is for the spirit. It's the yin and yang of treatment. You can't cure the disease without curing the soul and the spirit. It was hard because I didn't know what was happening really. And when I realized that I wouldn't be back in school and I'd lose my hair, I was like really sad and depressed. The cure is a process. The process went on in our case for seven years. High Lifeline is a support and a celebration of life as we were dealing with the course of treatment. Well, at first I couldn't believe that they were asking me to, to send my five and a half year old son who was on chemo to camp, all alone without me. And we listened. And I was so happy that I sent him. He left being sad and lonely and came back thinking he is a rock star. And it was the best medicine for Matthew and it touched his soul. After each summer when I got out of camp, I'd be like 365 more days until camp and I'd count down and I guess that was the thing that kept me going. I don't think we'll ever forget the day that we drove Matthew the first summer to Camp Simco. They were cheering his name over and over, Matthew, 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 and he loved it. And there were tears in our eyes. My favorite activity is swimming. They let me make good friends. It's better than Disneyland. We believe that Camp Simcha and the relationships that he built with the culture of High Lifeline has a lot to do with the strong and confident and happy child that he has always been, really. We have a very close personal relationship where Matthew and, and Marlene and Dan came to my wedding and I came into the city for Matthew's bar mitzvah. In fact, a lot of the bar mitzvah was planned around High Lifeline and these relationships with the caregivers that we've had. The Arvis family is amazing. When, you know, a close friend quickly becomes close family. There's a little note signed by Matthew, which said that basically throughout his life that he had been benefiting from Chai Lifeline, and now it's finally his time to give back. So they took the money that Matthew received for his bar mitzvah and donated a bank called Matt's Place, which is Matthew's legacy to Camp Simcha. When Matthew was in the hospital and he was bored or lonely, all the Chai Lifeline counselors would come and spend time with him. They would drop whatever they were doing on a dime to be there for Matthew and to be there for our family. And that's something that, uh, you know, that, that we'll always appreciate and always reciprocate if we ever have the opportunity.